research and I'm supposed to film this way. The slight majority of our viewers still watch this on some sort of computer or laptop, I some sort of forget. some sort of computer. Now, see, I think when I look at my phone, it should be this way, but I don't know. Plus, a pinball's specialty that way too, because when you're looking at a pinball, a pinball's always this way too. Like you can't look at a pinball sideways. Landscape. There's no landscape pinball machine yet, so I don't know, but. This is the general rule of thumb, is not this. Actually, this. you got to do uh, video game portrait. I guess it, yeah, that conflict goes back to the beginning of the video game. Some are this way, some are that way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in this seat running around after? You don't want to know, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, you don't need to know. Right. It was the nicest thing, though. Like, this old lady was there, and I guess her younger family was there. They needed the place cleared out. Um, everybody was polite, but it was a, it was, there was probably 150 people there trying to get through this house to just yeah. take something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't take any of that. Just household goods. Huh? Yeah. Older lady, you know. There was a piano there I sat and played it a brief second. I got trapped in some rooms because the traffic, there was no traffic. They didn't intend on that. Like you'd go into a room and then there was like the Roach Motel. People would come in, there'd be no lane to get out. Uh, Michael, yeah. you were the only one there that could play a piano. Nobody else probably had that talent. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't interview, you know, I didn't you interview anybody on that question. Thank you. I'd like to hear Because I can't play piano. I'm envious of that because that's neat to play that. Right. I love piano. Uh, uh, I played the violin, but hell, I probably forgot half of that. When do you? I haven't played in a while myself. Sorry, been busy. Today was an oops, but it's all right. I'm still, it's still early. Organizing truck parts. I got one more empty box. What is the purpose of this video? Date stamp this thing. It's June, almost the last day of June. All right. It's the twenty-seventh. All right. It's weather. <laughs> Um, I don't know, to pretty, advertise. Pretty sunny. Oh, yeah. Cards. I don't know. Got some eBay stuff. And then the separate thing, if you want or have time, you can advertise the pin up there. Probably later. Yeah, that, not today. That's too much. I'll explain it. I ain't got time for that right now. You can take a picture of it. Keep it moving. In fact, you stay there. You have you... Take number one, please. You got a knife? Yeah. All right. Thank you for your order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Looks like a System 11 board. Now. Okay, cool. They're popular. Yeah, it's original. All right, get out of the shadow. Oh, I don't know. Stay in the shadow, actually. Oh, my little This one is, is... I have pictures. It's probably just useful for the audio section parts. Because they're special. And some of them aren't available anymore. But, but this has major, <coughs> major, major corrosion. Yeah. Alkaline. Uh-huh. This can't be fixed. Okay. What did I price it at? $110. That's ridiculous. I don't know why you'd want any other parts off of it. Okay. These switches uh, are handy. I don't know. They're hard to find. Uh, okay. The audio section, it's got a lot of parts you can't get anymore. Anyway. All right. Pretty poor board, unfortunately. Uh, this came out of a high speed. This was a customer in Lansdale. We did about... Somebody's going to want to try to fix that, by the way. They're going to, they're going to disagree with you, and they're going to want to fix that. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> I have no comment on it. 75 bucks. Get that crap out of here. How was the packaging on it? Nice. Pretty good? Yeah. All right, give it to me. All of it. <sighs> Where our tape is. Back order. Did you get number two? Your back order tape. I don't know. Yeah. They sent a nice little letter saying, thank you very much. Sorry, it's on back order. should just fall open actually. I had the hardest time getting it to stay closed. This was a trade-in. And I think it was out of a, yeah, it was out of a scared stiff. Okay. And it had uh, real slight battery corrosion. This could be repaired. I have photos of that. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a WPC95. Okay, I probably, probably got that right. Is that what the box says? Yeah. 
Well, you can tell by looking at it. I, I, I would... It's wider than an 89, and it's got the, uh, the pick chip. The security board has pick in security board. Can you learn something from looking at a part? No. That one can be repairable, in my opinion. I got $110 on it. That's very slightly. I got $110 on it. That's reasonable. Okay, good. I agree with that. Valley MPU. Now, I think this was out of a, uh, it says nice on it. Oh, that was my opinion. You can disagree. Here, teach me something about this board. I look at it, it looks like a nice clean board to me. I want to know why you disagree. No, it is nice. Okay. Uh, all right. It has some ground banding uh, corrosion from alkaline. Okay. Well, sure. not enough for me to rip. It's back, but it's not too bad, and it didn't get in any chip sockets. Okay. So. That's what I thought. Um, that could be done. Yeah. All right. This one can be repaired. Okay. I, I agree with you. What's the price on the box? Uh, 77 <laughs> 77 Is that a fair price for that board? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice board. What do you one, two, three, four. That's so, well, so I recognized that it's my listing quickly. This is a Gottlieb System 80 board. All right. And this, well, you get a battery with it. Yeah. Somebody, somebody left it in the board. I don't know if the battery's good. It may not be. It's a non-tested non battery. Sorry. It's not shown in the listing extra well this was out of a pink panther and somebody did the uh the diode block mod here okay. so it doesn't charge a battery because these had nicads oh. um anyway mm. see I learned so something. that's that's viable and it had very minor corrosion so this this actually may even work okay well i know the I customer would, I wanted certainly the, wouldn't say that but all right the customer wanted uh free play okay so I did i think it was a nice board i installed it and i want you yeah, you agree it is, that it's yeah. a nice board yes, cool all right what did i price the thing 4777 okay these are already and listed this is the oem chip sweet so that as thing as you know is on a tent you can't get that unless you go through the gottlieb um llc thing all right because that software guarded software interesting the first board was a disaster. The power supply that I replaced in the same game, just as a matter of if I put a new board in, I don't like to leave these in because I don't, I don't like them. Okay. This works. All right. Well, that's that's good. Um, it's been rebuilt. Somebody did the diode repair and put it up off the board because they're usually burned up. So oh, neat. And it looks like they capped it except for a couple old ones, but they did do some other work on this it looks like so okay that's interesting um it's a working system 80 power system. okay i'm not listing it as working because i can't guarantee that but uh that price looks nice i on would that rebuild then. this first yeah you would you know, yeah i would this is right. from 1980 i would put okay. the uh well that's what that's regulator who this, in and that's I'd, who this is supposed to go to so it's a good core i'd put the regulator in and i'd re replace these electrolytics but somebody already did the the thing that usually these cause to burn up is the hmm. Diode. From what I understand. I learned stuff without even trying. I've rebuilt a few. All right. And the reason is, when we did Frank's Rocky, the uh, aftermarket power supply would not work in it. Remember? I remember. You've got to rebuild these to use it in certain games. It didn't I like it. Also, no um, caveman, godly caveman, cannot use one of them either. And, uh, no, that was or that may have changed probably maybe has. they might have found that was that. so long ago yeah i know they so probably found that but whatever the reason for it is these are linear power supplies and they stabilize quicker than the aftermarket and in fact they don't generate the five volts until it's stabilized your other aftermarket ones were coming up from two three four five volts meanwhile the cpu locks up because it says i don't have five volts screw it they probably did fix that okay did you see the price on that? Twenty-seven seventy-seven. Is that okay with you? Yeah. All right. I, I sell them regularly. Yeah, I have a bunch more. I mean, I when I put a new board in, unless I see it's been totally rebuilt, I don't leave it in. Why would you? Uh, well, I, I want to trust my new board. I um, I agree. If there's components fail, on you don't want to go back to well, see that the, voltage, the next day. If the voltage runs away on that, it can damage the the new board. 
Yes. We'll talk about that in a minute. Hold that thought, Ray. I have, I've already pre-planned to talk about that later. This is a Williams power supply out of a System 9. Space shuttle. Yep. This had some problems with it. I forget what. But if you're buying it to play with it on a bench, this is a nice core to start with. Okay. It's very nice. Is the System 9 board here dif different, or is it unique to System 9? What? System 9. This will fit 11 also. Okay. Well, well that's, I, I need to know that. They use this power supply in a lot of them games. So it's forward compatible. It has the problem with the GI, which a lot of them have. Uh. The little two-pin connector burns up, so they take the receptacle off and hardwire it. Okay. Um, is that known as a hack? No. No. <laughs> They put too many GI lights and they all burn up, okay. all of them, put unless you go LED. How big is it? It's pretty big. That's what she said. <laughs> but no, it's really nice place, man. So it has a docking station for all the games coming in, yeah. you know? And then uh, has a, lot of inventory, has a showroom, nice showroom, and they, they have all their individual offices, his office, her office. So he has an office with his kid. She has an office with her kid. Okay. And they have that laserific thing, machine that, you know, they took over. Yeah. And then they have a printer for the banner making thing. And Sounds like a Chris has his own private collection of games behind them. Yeah. That's neat. It's a nice place. Dude. Wow, look at that. Wow, ultraviolet up in the left. Wow, yeah. look at that. Ray, it's like a coin taker commercial. We ever make one of them? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Now put in LEDs and coin taker. <laughs> you don't need that. Like, in fact, this is a reason why if you have a machine that's using some of this old equipment in it, put the LEDs in, please. So what's wrong with that thing? I don't recall. All right. This could be a 5 volt problem. It's missing a fuse, so that tells me something. That's not there. That's yeah. missing on the game because it doesn't use that fuse. I see. No, there's no blown fuses. I think this either had a 5 volt problem, so it's probably the regulator, or what else goes bad on these? This chip, this is your regulator chip. Right. That's your 5 volts. Clean looking board, though. Clean, yes. right? Very nice. Not hacked. Good, good project board. Except that, but that's. All right. Well, that's expected, right? I think I could handle that repair, actually. It just needs a header, right? Yep. It's a two-pin, and it's AC, seven volts for the GI. All right. <laughs> this is the Data East equivalent to that. They tried something different here. This, you might notice, is not a two-pin. It's a four. You can't notice. Uh. Yes. Okay, right. yes. Well, they're cascaded, <laughs> so it might as well be a two-pin. Uh -huh. So what I'm saying is uh -huh. that this isn't burning. They, they, thought, that, yeah. they thought, they thought, uh-oh, we're burning up two pins. Let's make it a four. It's still going to burn up. Ray, right. would, would you explain to Stern what a Tinnerman nut is? They don't, they still don't know. Would you just make it quick? We've done this before. Tell Stern. Say, hi, Stern. Hi, Gary. Hello, Happy Gary. birthday, Gary. Yeah, he's 80. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, it's time for me to retire. There's a guy on your, on your production floor. He's probably been there just as long as you because he's been doing this for... Yeah, the cabinet. Flipper. Okay, let's show them. You know what? These are backwards. Um, they get turned around. You don't put it on backwards. Okay. If you put it on the right way, then you don't have to. Then you don't have to secure. And all that other stuff. No, you don't. Okay. And that's that's Ray's tech tips for well, Stern pinball. Chicago Gaming, right? Yeah. They put their flipper buttons on correctly, yeah. everybody. Yeah, they do. There's none of that extra shit in here that makes it look like a, what's it called that? A hack. A hack job. What was it? They, 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 somebody's name was it Earl Schleid. Earl Schleid, yeah. Earl Schleid. Candy car for 99 dollars right? A buddy of mine got his car <laughs> painted there, and it rained on it before they pulled it in, and they painted the rain. Wow. So when the when the rain, rain, huh? Strap rain? No, it was uh, Mark Glasser. He had a '68 Chevelle, 
and it was that forest green color that Chevy had that year, right? So he wanted the cheap paint job. So it was his beater car, you know? So he takes it in there and um, they painted the taillights and the mirror. They, he didn't, they don't tape anything. If you don't tape it, they paint right. it. <laughs> but it sprinkled a little bit, not a lot of rain, but a little sprinkle like a little, you know, mist. And when they pulled it in there, they, I guess they don't wipe it down. They just painted it. So when it, it, when it dried and he, he washed it, all the paint God. came off because they painted the rain and it wasn't stuck to the metal. So it looked like a polka dot. Like shibe, 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 Earl shibe. Yeah. Actually, in California, it's a it was a premier shop. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I said, Mark, they gonna, yeah, they're going to repaint it. Oh, okay. Shy. <laughs> it looked like a giant polka dot. It looked like it had a skin disease. That was funny. Dummies, because it's coming out of the same. It's cascaded. It's the same supply. It's just, okay. You could go six, eight. You could add as many as you want. It's still going to come out of the same damn thing. All right. Anyway. What's up with that the, board? There's a little problem with the ground pin here. Okay, that's not uncommon. No. Right? So I took close ups of that. This, yes. this is available if you want to change it. But other than that, it just needs to be tested in a game. And I think it had a display problem. Okay, uh, moving on. Don't recall. Nice core. Yeah. I got 50 bucks on that too. So I guess that's where I think the sweet spot is on those. It's a reasonable. Because they're nice and they're clean and they come packaged nice and they're going to arrive not all busted and up. And if you're into OEM stuff, which is good. Well, that doesn't suit your business model is not the homeowner's model no. like because you can't make the return call they can yeah that's the difference <laughs> this is a driver board uh -huh. this had a couple lamp issues and these i do definitely like rebuilding if i can this one had some prior work somebody tore up tunnels it's not a bad core you guys Suck. This is what happens if you don't know how to solder. And you overheat the board and tear traces off. What is that crap? That's uh, uh, spooch. Schmegma. <laughs> I'm trying to think of words you're still allowed to say. Schmegma. It's schmegma. Yeah, you gotta watch that now. This is the new, new generation, new era, man. You can get in trouble. Face it, Lord of the Rings. It's a very. I hate that piece of game. Yeah, I ain't playing it. I play that piece of <laughs> It's a neat game. Um, they made a lot of them. It's got that little pachinko thing up in the corner. That's neat. Yeah. Oh, number seven rated on Pinside, which. I Let me tell you, tell you about Pinside. Pinside sucks. <laughs> Mike likes Pinside. So what's the other rating oh, one? What's the other rating one? What's the other rating one? Besides the pinball? Oh, I don't know. I, I, when I want information, I go to IPDB. Right, it, pinball database. Uh, right, right. And then, you know, if, oh, I, if I want to know, if I want to know some, if I want to know rule sets, I go to, uh, whose rule sets? PAPA. P-A-P-A. -A. That's where the uh, rule play, rule set videos and yeah. info is at. PAPA.org, I think. Right? Right. So that's where I go for specific game information, rules, and somebody will play it and uh, explain what's going on. That's what I did when I was making those kind of videos. I would yeah, get well, there some of these games, man, you're going to play for a long time to get through them. There's a lot of sequences. I don't, I don't know. Uh. He said, if you're sacrilegious, what did he say? He said, well, if you want to be... Uh oh. <laughs> and I said, Jim, don't. Uh, well, enough about the because they're Because they're saying it's a <laughs> he choice. Started it's so it. crazy. He, 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 see how it is? I know. I don't care. I'm trying to be I, careful. I'm not saying anything about anything. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, we're talking about parts. All <laughs> galleries open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you go. You want, you want to go? We can go, we can go over later, later. We can hang out with whatever creeps would be in there at this time. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, let's just go hang out there. I got one thing you to think, say about you it. You think he's cleaning? You think he's actually cleaning it? <laughs> yeah, he ain't the cleanest dude, is he? First time he'd clean something. Oh, my God. <laughs> That'll wear gloves. Jokes, jokes, jokes aside, you, they ought to, you ought to go in there with the army mask and gloves. The stuff you bought. <laughs> That's a cop.
Oh, okay, we're moving on. What price did I have on that? That's too high. I'm gonna knock that one down. It's the cheapest one available right now. That's why the price is so high. See it down there circled? Yes. That's too high. That's, that thing's probably like 40 bucks. Yeah, those are fair prices. All right. Now well, this is a System 11 <clears throat> display. Okay, time out. Give me a moment on this. Much like you said, you don't like to leave one of the power supplies in in support of other new equipment. Well, similarly, I don't like to put some dead <laughs> in my working machine, cross my fingers, that it doesn't blow something else on my game up. Yeah. So I did it. I put that in the police force and against my, you know, against that. Like that comes with the service. I tested this thing. Yeah, one works, uh, one. The bottom, the bottom tube is fine. Yes. Top tube is dead. The relay, I don't know, however it talks to the slave, is also working. The workmanship on that, it looks like it came from. Doesn't it? Yeah, and I was going to say that had hot glue attached in the wires of the board, that driver board, but that's okay. what they did here. Yeah. <clears throat> what you do when you replace these displays is you don't do this. Yes, I tap pictures of, well, of that <clears throat> They cut the uh, long leads too short, yes. and now it doesn't sit flat. They f***ed it up real yes. bad. This is an OEM, and that's how it's supposed to be mounted, yes. so somebody didn't know what they, they were doing. They f***ed it up. Um, they're hard enough to do. Um, this was replaced, yeah, so is this it, is... Uh, yeah, is it salvageable? <laughs> you think it could be removed and saved? <laughs> Maybe. These tubes are expensive. New are almost gone. Yeah. And they are $180. I've okay. seen some for $165 brand new. All right. I want you to tell me that that, that thing can be carefully extracted from that. From it there. could, yeah. These are easy to get off. The, okay. the solder pads are easy to get off. Yeah. This has chips under these. Uh -huh. And some of them are 7180s, which are high voltage driver chips. Mm. And they're no longer available. And they generally sell for 30 bucks a piece. Okay. This has those on it. All and right. They're not bad. Just the tube's out gas. Gotcha. All right, well, all fine and great. That thing's hacked. And it has 6118s also on it, which are segment drivers, I think. Mean. It's got a salvageable, it's got salvageable parts on it, but, but somebody hacked it. Yeah? Yeah. What's my price on that? Oh, okay. That's real reasonable. All right, I'm glad you agree with it. I can put links to all these things in the, in the description section too. Look in the description section, folks, please. Thank you. Whew. Been busy, Ray? Yeah. I, I kind of liked it when it was stiller. Now it's going back. Mm. I hear you. I, I had a chance to actually answer calls and catch up. And, you know, people were, uh, well, they want you to, and you can't blame them to, to call them back in a timely manner. But sure. if you get text messages, emails, on two different accounts, phone messages on your cell phone and your answering machine. How can you return all these in a decent time? You can. On my uh, Google, what is it called? Google, what do they do when they rate you? Google, Google. Uh, I don't know. Your... Uh, Google ratings or whatever. Yeah, I haven't checked. Should I check your Google rating? Yeah, you can check Google ratings, and there's not many ratings there, but no. there are, are a couple good comments. But there's okay. one from this idiot, Scott Swikert. Uh oh. Scott! Now, this was months ago. He said, uh, never got a call back. Don't advertise if you don't want business. <sighs> that was his Google. Uh, rating comment nice well done right and i probably did call him back but it probably wasn't in 24 hours and i am not a medical doctor and i'm not on call for these people please <laughs> thank you all right i i are we done yet no i just okay that was that was very interesting right well done well put i don't think anybody was offended i hope no um no wasn't intended for that. It was just to advise people that I have a life away from my job, and so do they. They respect mine. I and don't leave comments like that if I don't get a chance to call you back within two hours. That's I, ridiculous. I concur. You know, if I'd met the guy, I'd give him peace of my mind. I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. They're doing it with Chevys and Fords. I just want to put cars. Buford and Son on the side. That's all I want to do. This is a tested door. This is the one that I think is the slightly better of the two. Okay, yeah. 
tell everybody how complete it is and and whatever. I don't it's know. Got everything in it. Coin max. It no can't... wiring anomalies. Uh -huh. It's clean inside and out. It has the keys in there, I guess. Uh, I would hope so. Are they on the hook? No. Are they in the bag? Yes. Okay. They're in the bag. So no, that's a bolt-on instant cleanup. And it's a functioning coin door. Yes. Tested. Look at all these nice games, right? And I, what did I play? I played Monster Bash, and I'm up there. Right? I played one game of Monster Bash, and I played... What do you got? Number three? Yep. Number three. Okay. Did I play anything else since I've been here? I don't think so. Yeah, you were back here playing some. Oh, okay, I played Tested Flash after I f***ed with it, because I wanted to make sure. Would you like to explain what I did to myself back there while I was... Go ahead. <laughs> What'd you do? You tested well, the coin doors. I, I tested the coin doors. Yeah. Yeah. And that included putting a quarter through it to see if the max worked and whatever, and this and that and the other thing. Uh, the coin doors are complete to, to the point of having the operational lockout coil mechanism, all that is intact, right? Okay. So I couldn't, it was rejecting a quarter, and, I, and then I figured out, okay, was well, the coin lockout. So I couldn't figure out why the coin lockouts weren't working on them. Oh, so that has to completely come out, right? Mm -hmm. It was on free play. The game's on free play. Yeah, and it disables that, of course. On what year of machine is that? 78, 9, 9. Oh, that's so, eight, that's nine. Cool. so that was that. But then through all the testing, I think I still have I have one of them that doesn't work. One of the three doors failed and that needs a little more attention. That's, oh, why, still need that's why we test them before we sell them. Yeah, it needs to still be clean. Right? 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 Yeah. That's why I wanted to tie it. That was the reason why I wanted to test them, is because I wanted to make sure they worked. So two of the three pass, one needs a little bit more love. Oh. Not bad, right? No. A lot of little tricky parts in those things. Now, so this is what I this is, do you think those switches are backwards? One one of the three doors has the newer style switches in them for what it's worth. Could be. Um, and it comes up as being backwards on the high score reset and what's the other switch? The the, the one that you use. The functions switch. Right. Right? The one in the middle is just a toggle either way. And it don't matter which of the two. It's like, oh, they're all the same. They're just switches. But the styles, so it's got to be, it's got to be, I don't know. Maybe I assembled it wrong. But that's, that was a switch pack. I could, I guess I had the switch pack in backwards, maybe. Like, it could be that. Yeah. Right? Because it's a switch pack. And it's three buttons. So there, that's what it needs. It needs that turned around. Um, and the, coin lockout coil does not work on it. So either I can bend it over, which is what I should do. That was that's what TNT would do. That's what Bill Disney would do. Right? <laughs> they just bend that <laughs> bend it over. <laughs> right? Uh, bend it over. So games magically fix themselves a little when you come over. Hmm. Like the attract mode. I'm gonna go and see if the sound is Oh, not Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game you want to play, Michael. I'm not working on that. I love the head, man. <laughs> How much fun is that? Why is nobody taking me serious when I say I like the game? You don't want to Somebody it. has to. You know what other game that guy's designed? Uh, Walking Dead. Did he? Yeah. Did, did he actually? Who? Who? Uh, what? Whose machine is Frankenstein? The floor. Uh, but, yeah, isn't that? The, isn't that who? I don't, I don't know. know. I would be surprised though. If it's it's a trivia question. Walking I, Dead. I, is, I think that's the case. Yeah, because Walking Dead is just as abysmal. But it's got a great pin side game. That's, that's crazy. I think it kind of sucks. The features on it are. 
crap. The artwork on it's cheap and, and tacky. Yep. Um, it's lame. The whole game's pretty lame. The quality I was on really this, disappointed. The quality we on this is thumbs down. Um, this game sucks in a big way. This pin is bad. I don't know. Have I, have I explained it well enough, or can I? do I need to revisit it one more time? I think our viewers got the hint. I don't know who the designer is. Yeah, somebody signed it. Yeah, I, I haven't found out who's responsible. Um, or who maybe had some good ideas of what to do with this pin and uh, got told not to do it. Don't know. Um, I gotta look that up. We'll find out who's responsible for this. <laughs> we'll call them out. Because I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm really super, super disappointed. I like the mirror blades they added to it. Yeah, that those are coin taker, right? Yeah. We put those in. Yeah. It does well. Only one. One. Yeah. one. One of them is free play. The other's not. Nice. Or uh, not free play. Credit. You know, a credit switch. Credit. Yeah. Was it boxed in there? Happy. Yes. That was almost entirely up to you. You right. know what you want. Well, you did some work on them. You sent a few of them down the road at 280. Yeah. And yeah. they didn't stay long. No, I'm not worried about it. No. You shouldn't be. No, I'm not. Because you're saving. Yes, it's a lot of work. Well, it, it requires the, it requires the work, and it also requires the collection of parts. Like the bezel on the the bezels on these things are hard to you know, I, you know if you want to send them out and have them rechromed, you can, but that cost that's not free. Well, I got I got to tell you what else these uh, quarter plates I got for me. Uh huh. For you. Yeah, discontinued. They're, they're seven a piece. Oh, okay. So you're right, nothing is cheap, including no, that. No. Now those ones are probably used. That's probably why that one of the reasons that's a second door. Okay. Are those used ones in there? Yes. So that's see there's the five dollar cheaper door. Yeah. How's the W in the center? That's hard to come by. Mm-hmm. And it's an in stamp. Uh -huh. How's the um and I and I didn't refinish it neither. Um although I, that one might have that one might have two dots of touch up on it. Um how about the little mech retaining plates? What do they sell for? <laughs> oh, yeah. $12. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, how many? I'm, I'm, I'm out of them. I got none left. Yeah. So, yeah, if you put that key in the baggie with it. Okay. 280 for the first one, 275 for the second one. Seems fair to me. This is my latest trade in from uh, yeah. bye -bye. Service Field. This one is probably challenged, but <laughs> somebody could fix this. Mm -hmm. This is a WPC-95, and this is out of Junkyard. Okay. But as you can see, it I had a problem see, with yeah. alkaline batteries. Don't use the damn things. Uh, the actual smart thing to do is if you're in a shop, replace this RAM with an NV RAM mm -hmm. and forget your batteries. Good idea. I like lithiums. Okay. Double right. A lithiums in the stock holder. Agreed. Um, that is... My answer now, if, if this is socketed like Data East does, I would do this in a heartbeat. I carry them. Mm. They're 30 bucks, my cost, so I mark them up. Mm. But now you can put a lot of batteries in for 30 bucks, obviously, but sure. you do this and you're done. Uh, Jim likes to do this. Paul said. Does he do that? Um, I don't know. Is he still in business? I don't know. He might not be. He had an auction that <laughs> one of my customers said <laughs> he had an auction and the prices that the the price that the, the items sold for like all day long for as many days as doing this auction the prices sold and then people were still bidding on it and then went up a couple hundred or more dollars and then but meanwhile there was a delay what did you say it was a streaming and then the stream was slow or something oh cool <laughs>
I thought you took college for video. <laughs> I thought he took college for uh, film video. Didn't he take What the hell, Todd? You guys suck. Hey, I didn't watch it. And one of my customers told me about it. And we were laughing about uh, it. Okay. He was. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch that. He, me neither. He's trying to sell off his stuff, which is wise. He's smart. Because now is the time when this wave is at the crest. Because it will fall down. Yes. But get rid of your stuff because you have warehouses full of it. And We did it last year. You're out selling him with a little uh, bit less of, yes, a I lot know. less of stuff. <laughs> um, so Thank tune, you for noticing. <laughs> well, yeah, tune, tune up, man. I, I mean, kick his ass on eBay every, all day, every day. Well, he's smart for starting this auction stuff to get rid of stuff because he's paying rent like anybody else is, right? Yeah. I'm by Unless he owns a whole industrial park. You know, well, it's not my business, but I'm just saying now's the time. Uh, to, to market and move stuff. I just he, I just paid ten thousand dollars in real estate taxes. How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, you know what it is to have properties and mm -hmm. maintain. Um, even if you're renting, I mean, look how we rented for fifteen years. Yeah, or more. And they, and they have and, and they and they have their expenses too. So you it's were not with like they can eleven just eleven of the fifteen. They, they it's not like they can just eat it either. So you understand, eleven years is a good picture. Like places get. are going derelict. Yeah, well, Mike, you can't. If you don't break zero and make a profit, how, what are you going to live on? You better have a real job or your spouse better have a real job or you can't subsidize this. It's, it's some fact of business. It has nothing to do with this coin-op amusement thing. You could do it with any business. you gotta, you got to you know, move stuff. It's business. It's nothing to do with having fun playing pinball for that sake. <laughs> if you have expenses and you're marketing a store, you better make that damn payment every month or else you're in trouble. Unless you're wealthy and you have money to, to piddle away. And there are places that are that way. Uh, there are businesses that are that way. But sooner or later, even them will find a time where they, they get hurt. Kmart did, Sears, there's big retailers, much bigger than what this this is here, you know. So, I don't have to tell people that. No, they know. Although they choose yeah. to live in a dream world and not, not realize it. Oh, no, it can't be like that. You're wrong. Well, go ahead then. Knock yourself out. It's all good. Phone's so, still ringing, like, way lot. Yeah. So, put that door away, man. Did we look at that door? We did. It's almost as nice as the other it one. It is. I, I wouldn't say it'd be objectionable to anything. It was, it was, I was, hard, you know, and listen, I didn't polish every part. I don't have 80 like hours in the door. It's doors. an 80% upgrade over anybody. Well, yeah, I mean, I, the next level would have taken me another 10 hours of work, and that's not, like, I'm not trying to get $400 for that door. That, that would be ridiculous. Yeah. That being said, it's all there. If you want to continue, you know, if you want to do a better job, there you go. That's complete. I, I, Do you remember I, the Gorgar one that I polished to like that mirror yeah, finish? That's ridiculous. <laughs> that was a stock door. That's that wasn't plated. That's a hard plated. job, man. That's stainless steel. I know it was that's hard. That's not low grade. That's I, high grade. It took me forever. Yeah, because it's hard metal. It came man. out nice though. That's <laughs> hard metal, yeah. <laughs> the guy who has, uh, uh, Chef Sean has that. Oh, okay. He'll see this. <laughs> I like that guy. I was to his place once or twice. Yeah, all right. He lives outside of D.C. Would yeah. you put that door away and move on to the next item? Man, I got shit to do. This is an right, inlet box, power inlet box. I guess you could call this a power inlet box. And it has your switch, fuse, and receptacle for convenience. Uh -huh. and this is your back. Yeah, this is a System 11. Okay. Um, and this particular one um, is U.S. because it's labeled 8 a.m. Uh -huh. But it was marketed for either import or export. That's okay. why it has reference voltages here. But this is a 115. So it's a U.S. Yeah, this is All a, those things I wrote on yeah, the box. If you want a nice, you know, and this splitter is set up for 115 volts, 120 volts. Right. So you plug this into your transformer. Mm. This is a factory cord, not any kind of hack big thing you could kill somebody with, you know, plug. I don't want to sell it internationally, by the way. Yeah, no. This bolts onto your cabinet, part uh -huh. comes out the back end, and this is all uh, clean, done inside. Mm. And the reason we tore apart a machine, I think it was in bad shape when we scrapped it. I don't even remember. I don't, I couldn't, as you can see, I didn't know where it came from. Yep. Um, what's this, in, what's in the baggie? This would be for like taxi or any other okay. system 11 game. Uh, hardware. Okay. And it's a correct gauge cord too, by the way. It's not that little 18 gauge okay. three wired. It's a 16. 
All coin op stuff, by the way, has 16 gauge wire on it, not 18. Uh, the only one that sells these that are correct anymore uh, is uh, Terry DeWard at Pinball uh, Life. Okay. Because he sells the, uh, that's where I get them from. Everybody else has a strange idea to put, except Pinball Resource, I get flat cords and mm. round cords. That's yeah, they all get in stuff, yeah. 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 Okay. If that's missing, try to piece that together. That's 125 bucks, right? Yeah, who knows what kind of rigging you'll find. It. Yeah. My favorite is uh, the one guys that use the video game or the flipper button. Yeah, they use a flipper button inside the coin door lock. Well, look at that. You can see my dick from here. Yeah, yeah where he bent the door. It bent the door to keep it so shut. It binds, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it, it binds. It was a Gottlieb haunted house. Was the one I saw. And, oh, I've seen a bunch and, of them and, in the and the guy was and the same guy was at the same time laughing at one that we had that was priced more than his and he was trying to say his was better remember that yeah do you remember that yeah. oh my god what's next uh, stern bullock assembly all right yeah read the side of the box read the side facing you only one known yeah that's okay good one. all right well that's what i came up with it's available from Marco or anybody that sells There's stern parts. Shows out of stock. Uh, yeah, you know why? No. Because these are breaking with very... Shows? Okay, well, I'm just saying only it shows out of stock. I went shopping for it and, now, no, and all I found was reference that nobody has it's it. These three machines, the one this came off of that my customer had was an avatar. What happens is um, the factory part is riveted yeah. and the rivets break off and then it pulls apart okay this is a replacement where you put the screw they they now do not rivet this to the plate mm. they have a they tap and drill a hole and they, they run 832 screws okay. uh, but i bought a whole assembly because they did not have this fix at the time ah. these fixes are 18 dollars for they, you get these two things uh right yeah and then you got to put your own hardware in because you don't have any because the original ones are riveted Right, that sounds so, complicated. And now as well. I stock these uh, so I can fix a broken one without a whole assembly. But when they first were available, I couldn't. They didn't have these. Okay, it's not an OS. It's a new. It's the new. Updated. It's the new part. Yes. Well, there's my complete assembly. Only one known. I got two hundred bucks on it. I might be. I don't know. I might reconsider. I think it was a hundred and sixty. My plus problem. shipping. Yeah. So yeah. So I know where it's at. You don't have to take this out. Is it a new part? Yeah, th this was a mistake. Okay. I bought this. Uh huh. I know what it is. Pictures. And Deep I move. didn't need it. It's an Adams family okay. scoop for the swamp, I think. Yeah. New part. It'll be priced market value. Well, when we were restoring Kevin's, I bought it at, by accident, but I really wanted the chair and I bought it by wrong. Okay. Go get the big box. Taxi? Yeah. Go get that turd. We'll give you about it just a Got second. It. We can, I was working too hard. Yeah, we were make, you were making it way harder than it was. All right, this has moderate wear. I mean, it's Yeah, not, no, it's in bad shape. It's missing some inserts. Oh, well, I've seen this uh, area gone. Okay. Um, and along with this, anything where the flipper hits mid, so. All right. Well, my opinion of it is that it's for wall art. Is it cleaned up nice enough to put on a wall? Yeah. Some people like to cut them up and put lights in them and make these fancy little stuffs with them or coasters or whatever. I've seen all that nice stuff. I don't know. How many play, How many of these blank play fields have I sold, right? Oh, jeez, man. Remember all the ones I had in Game Room Warehouse? Of them, maybe. So 100. Give me all these for parts. And yeah. I had 15 or 20. I don't think they're worth as much as they, they used to they're, be. They were hanging up in the storage. Yes, they were everywhere. <laughs> they were everywhere. Yeah. One of them became... Chef Sean's Gorgar, True. same Gorgar. Yeah, that was a scrap. One, that we... was a scrap playfield, same as these doors. I had four, I had four, three or four Gorgars, and we went and got the game without even regard to the playfield that was in yeah. it from that guy in Jersey. Remember? Yeah, the telephone guy. Yeah. Yeah. So at any rate, here's uh, this playfield is the same one from that assisted us. You, I guess I worked on that thing. Yeah, you did. That taxi. Yeah, the restoration. That taxi. So here's that playfield. Guess what I've got over here? I've, I've got what's left of most of the reference there in the sc third scrapper play field. Uh, okay, it's, well then this will serve as more than... Yeah, okay. Mo All right. Yeah, when I go to put, it, put the uh, harness back on, I'll set this next to it 
and I'll be I'll be flying. It, it's gonna go fast. That was the CPR swap, and then this was the one. That I don't know, man. That's a hundred. Parts. That's a hundred bucks plus shipping, because that's what somebody will pay for it. White. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me on that? Mm -hmm. Nicely packaged. You can just say, you know, you ain't got. It's, I'll get that back to you. Later. Like it was have it it's it was it's gonna make it wherever it's going right safely yeah. without being a, now if it was an eight hundred dollar play field I would package it differently. Right, thank you. Well, a little a little better. Yes, a little better. They do a nice job. They do they do a nice job. Um, me, I don't really stock these boxes a lot. But if you don't have a box like that, then you're kind of, you know, it's going to be tough for you to sell and ship something like that. Yeah. Um, local pickup is available on any of these items. Right? You following along? You can pick these, you can schedule an appointment to pick these things up from me if you don't want to pay the shipping on it. But uh, otherwise, please don't inquire about buying it outside of eBay. Why is that, Ray? Um, well, that, but also accounting, um, e ease of accounting. Like all this stuff gets processed through the business, right? You pay taxes on all this yeah. and you keep track of it, which is not easy to do. No, I mean, and when you do something that's out of the scope of the ordinary, it, that be, that's just a difficult item in and of itself, including me printing a label for the thing, um, you know, down to everything, the accounting of all of it. Sorry, cost me more than the 13% that eBay's hammering us for, plus the store membership and all that other shit. What the world's this taxi thing? So keep that in mind that it's, you know, uh, that all goes into the price of the item, the packaging, supplies, management, all that. This came off of that play field. Well, this is that main taxi board uh -huh. for the jigger guys. Mm -hmm. the, uh, what is this? The um, players, the pickup, the guys that you pick up the jigger. I've never heard that term. Passengers. Yes. I'm going to have to look that up and see if it's appropriate. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like it might not be. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. No corrosion on the little inserts. Do you, do you remember them, how many of them lamp socket? I used to sell them just individually, like lots of five or whatever. You store gain and moisture like in a shed. I know, I've thrown and out that. this is... All of it is janky. Well, is that a nice part? Is that a nice part? Yes, it is. Is it what's in the bag? Okay, it's got all the little plastic chumpies. Um, that don't mean it's tested working, by the way. It may have, may and probably does have cold solder joints. Um, but if you need that, that probably is not easy to get, eh? No, they don't make that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm. I feel like 50 bucks on that. Oh, yeah. We're almost done. And yeah, number five. And they're all numbered, by the way. You see five, six, seven on them. Because I got photographs of all these things. Of course, when you make an eBay listing, you got to put photographs of all this, <laughs> right? Ramp flaps. Yeah. Take a look at them. Yeah, that's neat. Okay. They're not perfect. Um, they're not cracked though. I don't see any cracks in them. Um, the bluing is bleh. I mean, I did. I put them in the blast cabinet. Yep. Uh, the studs are, I believe, supposed to be that short. I don't think they go all the way through. There was no evidence that they went through. Yeah, they're so they're not broken. Beauty. Yeah. Isn't that a nice part? Yeah. I figured to put them all together. I don't know, man. That looks like another 50 bucks to me. You can argue. Like, if that's busted, that, that you know, your ramp's next. I don't know. Yeah, this is low end. But I've sold this, too. Well, I guess sometimes Well, if you're going to try to restore that play field there, you're going to need these, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all of it. Not the most drilling thing ever, but Marco's got that part listed, and it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. 
that little kit, I'm gonna, I don't know, throw it, throw it 25 bucks probably. 25 bucks. Hanger. hanger. That word is hanger. Yeah, these break. Yeah, they're in various I conditions. I have them listed as System 11. Has, yeah. Is it all in there? Bolts, everything, washers, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right. That's not worth a lot. Probably 20 bucks. If you don't have them, it's kind of awkward. You need them. You can't make that. I mean, unless you're not making that. I don't know what's in that box. Some of this stuff I'm leaving with you. Yeah. All right, what you got? I got Sally here. <laughs> it's it's a, a catapult. Uh huh. I'm going to leave this with you, I believe, and you'll see why when you look at the rest of the box. That's why this is not numbered. You can have this one. Oh, there's you know that's it doesn't really belong with it, but that's the trap for it. Would would you figure out why this is here, sir? Oh, me. <laughs> Could you, is that part nice enough? Does it warrant getting the you know a coil on it today? Yeah. Okay. Could would you would you pull that out of stock and do that for me? I'd appreciate it. And then you sell it as an assembly. Yes, that was that's my my thought. I can tell you one thing. This twenty three eight hundred they put here is way too powerful. It generally throws it at the ramp and breaks the ramp. Okay. I have been putting on by request of customers, two or three of them already. Mm. Can you make it less? No, it's a powerful coil. I'll put a different coil on it. So I've been putting a lesser coil on it. Okay. That's, the factory put far too much coil here. You yeah. know it, because you used to try to put a pad or whatever uh, you were doing yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. It will break your ramp right there at the curve, because that's what this throws out at. Okay. But well, I, I will put the coil of your choice back on it. Okay, well then, uh, wow, that's going to be difficult to list. Like, how am I going to explain that? Well, if they have one, it's just going to have the same as what they had. All right. Listen, put put a new coil on it. Um, put, put the correct coil on it. Yes. And give me a copy of the recommended coil, and I'll try to... Yeah, it's figure, a little and, and I'll list, and I'll do what I can to... You know how it advise. is. That, that's too much what they did. Yeah, there. okay. Is that a nice little assembly? That came off yes. of that piece of play field. Yeah, these it's, break. It's not in bad shape at all. I don't see anything wrong with it. They break, here. Good use part? Yeah. Really good use part. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. It's the um, air hole assembly. All right. Air hole kicker. Why don't you grade that thing? It's nice, it works good, huh? I had a little, I had, you know, I had to search for that, uh, for this little red clip. Oh, that, the yeah. little red clip. I had to search for that. You know what it does? It prevents it from going too Bouncing, far. Bang. Yeah. yeah. It no, prevents no, it from bang. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I get it. So, nice little complete assembly. Yeah. Did the coil look all right? I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, it, the paper uh, details worn a little bit because, uh, you know, I got... Yeah, well I, well, I wiped it down with pledge. It's a fine coil. These coils are powerful. They're 23 gauge, 800 turns. Okay. And... Unless the paper's brown, it's a good coil. Okay. It's a very high power working coil. I thought it was a nice used part. It is. It looks like 30 bucks to me. Sounds reasonable. All right. You know, coils are almost 20 anymore. I know. I have coils for sale. Well, they sell from time to time. I know they have their own version of raised tech tips. I've got, you know, mixed feelings about it. He uses the girls, the, the whole girls strategy. No, I got mixed feelings about it. I guess it's all right. Mixed feelings? Man. Andy sent me a shirt that one time, remember? <laughs> and I had what's her face standing there with it. Thanks for the shirt, Andy. Yeah. The rest of this is just stuff I have that you should have for truck stock. Cause I don't, there's new end stops. Yeah, I can put like some of this in stock. These are drop lead. Can you use all that? Mm hmm. Okay, because I that's all too small for me to mess with. I think it's all new. Really? Right? Yeah. Okay, well that's what I'm giving back to you. I don't want that stuff. My pinball shop is closed. Due to what? Due to I don't COVID? want that stuff. Due to I want that I don't want that stuff. I need to make room for that no. four wheeler that I didn't buy yesterday or the day before. <laughs> right? Gotta get the pinball crap out for some more manly toys. 
Manly. You got it. Uh, can I still stay at? Um, Man yeah. Manly yeah. is acceptable? Uh, you got stuff yeah, to. I think so. Yeah? Okay. How about fruity? Face it, Lord of the Rings. It's a very I, fruity theme. If I could quote myself, I hate that fruity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I ain't playing it. <laughs> fruity. Fruity? No, that's marginal. You can't do that. Okay, but manly is good. What? You got anything to give me besides that coin comparator thing that I don't want, but I guess I do? No, I don't know. In the truck? I don't think so. All right, nothing I want here. Ray, thank you to everybody. Uh, we wish you well. We miss you. We love you. Stay safe and healthy. That's what everybody's saying. Isn't it? That's all, I, that's all I can say. We appreciate you hanging by, and we wish you all well, and we hope to see you soon. Hi. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Want to know what's coming next? Go like us on Facebook right now. You can keep up to date with all of us here at the shop and what we've been up to. Thank you for watching.